Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. In the last two videos, we have discussed how we can use uh, symbolic permissions in Linux. Now in this video, we will uh, discuss about octal or numerical permissions with the files in Linux. So let's get started. First of all, uh, how uh, we can, uh, you know, use or what is a octal permission? So a octal permission is a numerical representation of uh, the file permission, for example. So let me just change the directory to desktop first of all. And then we will create a file using touch, for example. So I will just say file.txt and our file will be created right and then when we list the permissions of this file so what i can do i can just do ls minus l for the file and then when i do this i can see uh, the permissions and this we have seen in the last uh, video so these three uh, things is for the users other three are for the groups and other three are for the uh, you know others right and then we have these uh, three representation which is read permission write permission and the execute permission so let me uh, simplify the you know numerical or octal permissions using this concept so what i'm going to do is i will just open a normal text file and let's say this is our users and groups and others like these three uh, you know groups users groups and others right and each have its uh, permissions so each have read write and uh, the third command which is uh, execute right so i'll write read and then it has write and for example execute in the same way group also has read and then the write this will be write and the execute and other also have read and write and execute right now octal representation can be done something like this so for example if we are uh, you know using binary notation this is one this is one and this is one right and same is for here so this is one this is one and this is one and this is one this is one and this is one for example right now if we want to provide the permission for a file for the user for example that this will be uh, you know users have all the three permission read write and execute permission so let's start from here so what we uh, do here so this is equal to one in binary for example and then this is equal to two because uh, you can uh, you know in binary you can just double the when you go left right and then this is equal to four right and in uh, you know when you add these three numbers the addition will be 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 7 so if you want to allow the user to read write and execute a file then you need to give the number notation 7 and this is calculated like this so you just need to for example start from the right and then uh, write here 1 and then make a double of it two and four for example and then uh, if uh, you want to uh, you know give the right here do it one otherwise if you want don't want to give the permission then do it zero here so for the group for example i just want to give the group only a read and execute permission so i will just do write is equal to zero okay so what will be the you know numerical notation for this we will start from the right hand side so the value is one here because we want the execute permission the value will be zero here because uh, we don't want the right permission right so here will be zero instead of two and here the value will be four because 
once again we want the permission here and the addition of these value will be uh, for example 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 right so whenever you want to give the only read and execute permission then you just need to give the numerical notation of 5 here right and same you can do here for example you want to just give the read and write permission to the others then what we can do here we can uh, just give 0 here and then we can give 1 here and give 1 here again right and then this notation will be for example 0 this notation will be here so let's write 0 here for example 0 and then 1 and then 1 so let me align everything because these things are not aligned properly so something like this so uh, this will be 2 according to this notation right and this will be 4 according to our notation here right and the addition of uh, these value will be 6 right and uh, so whenever you want to give the read and write permission the notation will be 6 so there is a table for uh, these notation if you want to calculate it's really easy i have shown you uh, this is how you can calculate the value and when you uh, use these uh, number notations frequently you get used to them and then you don't even need to remember them uh, i mean you don't even need to calculate them you can remember them automatically so i have a table for um, the values so you can see Whenever you don't want to give any permission, you just give 0. If you want to give uh, execute permission, you give 1. You, if you want to give write permission, you give 2. And then uh, write and execute is 3. Read is uh, 4. Read and execute is 5. Read and write is 6. And read, write, execute is 7. Right? So this is a simple table. And this is how uh, we can calculate these value right so you can uh, you know calculate all the values uh, using this uh, approach now for example I want to change the permission of uh, this file using number notation then what I can do is I can just do ch mod and then I can uh, for example give 0 here for the user 0 means uh, no permission right so for the user we are not providing no permission for the group also for example we will provide no permission and for the others also we will provide no permission for example for this file and press enter and the command is successful and let's uh, give the long listing of uh, this file so now nobody have any permission for uh, this file right now for example we want to uh, allow the user to read write and execute right and for uh, the group we just want to give the permission read and execute which is 5 right so you can just do something like this so just write ch mod and for uh, the user we want to give uh, read write and execute and read write and execute the number notation is 7 as you can see here right and for the group we want to give 5 which is read and execute and for example others also we want to give 5 which is read and execute and the file name and press enter once again do the long listing and now you can see the user have read write and execute the others and the group have read and execute uh, permissions okay so this is how you can use octal or numerical permissions in Linux. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.